the upper half body turning move. The important point here is you keep the pelvis stable and turn with the abdominal and the back muscle in this region. We teach students uh, how to learn this move in silk reading exercise and tidy form practice. The power of these mo movements are all internal. One could consider adding some external momentum to this movement. For example, if you disengage the arm to the core and you can swing the arm to get the racket speed or the bat speed up, or you turn the hip to get the racket speed or the bat speed up. But you watch these athletes, they are able to, before they make a contact with the ball, or before they are hitting the ball, they can switch over to the internal structure of the body. That is, keep the pelvis stable and connect the arm to the core and do the hitting. After the hitting, one would think uh, they will relax their body structure and just follow through. Yes, they do disengage their arm to the core, so the arm could free move during the follow through. But they maintain a rock solid, stable pelvis. They never deviate from that. This just shows that these athletes are so single-minded in their execution of this move. And that is the reason they are the top in their profession. So let's take a look now. He rev up to get momentum by turning the pelvis and swing the arm. Just before the hitting, he set up the upper half body turning move by stabilizing the pelvis, engaging the arm to the core, and using the upper body turning power for the hitting. He maintains the stability of the pelvis, but disengages the arm from the core for the follow through. They are consistently setting up upper half body turning move just before hitting by stabilizing the pelvis and engaging the arm to the core. During follow through, they all maintain a stable pelvis. He stopped turning the pelvis as he connects with the opponent, but turning his upper body to generate power. During follow through, he continuously turned the upper body, but keep the pelvis stable. The upper quarter body movement. An example of this, is this. Here the upper right quarter of the body moves, rest body stationary. Certainly the muscle connects across the body, so the muscle stretch across the body. But from 
bone structure viewpoint, it's only the right upper quarter body is moving. The pelvis is not moving, the left side is not moving. Now, the muscle connects between the moving part and the non-moving part, such as the abdominal muscle and the back muscle. All these big powerful muscle provide the power for this quarter body move. So the quarter body move is quite powerful and that's the reason why these athletes utilize this to give them the power they want in their sports. We teach this move uh, in our class through silk reeling exercise and tai chi form practice. The objective is to first the student has to learn connecting the arm to the core or engaging the core to the arm. Normally when you move like this the core is not involved. So you have to learn to connect the arm to the core such as this. Now, there are three moves to learn, actually. Really, it's the three-dimensional uh, direction, the X, Y, Z. So one could consider this move the Y direction move. Then we have the X direction move, like this. and we have the Z direction move. The three sports examples selected here happen to represent the three dimensional movements just talk about. When a student learns all three directions, then every move he or she makes will be connected to the core and the core power is driving the movement. Now I'm going to show an example of how we use uh, one of these moves in our Tai Chi martial art application. I think this example is kind of interesting because you can see the methodology used here. The uh, athletes use that also in their uh, sports application. So let's take a look at the example of that. What I have done here is using the pure internal power for the heading, come from the abdominal and the back. Now, conceivably I could add some momentum force to this by swing my arm and turn my pelvis so to get the speed of the fist uh, up a little bit and then hit. But the key is when I'm touching him for the hitting, I have to switch back to my internal structure, keep the pelvis and the left side of the body stable and only using the upper quarter body move. So. Certainly, in the Tai Chi martial art, we don't use momentum at all because it's a bad word, momentum. If you have a momentum, opponent will be able to take advantage of your momentum and destabilizing you. 
So we don't use that. Besides, you know, an empty hand, you don't build much momentum with the, uh, uh, with the, with the velocity. But if you have a tennis racket or a baseball bat, a, some initial velocity of it does provide fairly important amount of momentum force. So you will see that these athletes are using momentum with their internal power. And again, the ability of right before they hit the ball, right before the contact with the ball, the ability of switching over to a pure internal structure of the body. It would stabilize the pelvis and the other side of the shoulder of the body and just using the quarter body move to make the hit. So let's look at it. He uses very little rev up or winding up in order to achieve accuracy of placement. Just before hitting the ball, he set up the quarter body move by stabilizing the pelvis and the left side of the body, engaging the right arm to the core and deliver the internal power. To get the maximum power, he uses big rev up, tuning the pelvis and swing the arm. Just before hitting the ball, he set up the quarter body move by stabilizing the pelvis and the left side of the body, engaging the right arm to the core and deliver the internal power. Once he hit the ball, he disengages the arm from the core and let the arm to have a free follow-through move, but he continuously maintains the stability of the pelvis and left side of the body. He uses big rev up, turning the pelvis and the swing the arm. Just before hitting the opponent, he set up the quarter body move by stabilizing the pelvis and the left side of the body, engaging the right arm to the core and deliver the internal power. After punch, he maintains stability of the pelvis and left side of the body during follow through.